Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This microphone call these sounds really bad, probably. Um, I'm sorry if I sound like a raspy and poopy voice. That's just how it's going to have to be, this video. Um, so what you're looking at right now is what we drove to Denver. Um, so I am basically going to do a presentation of my trip to the Denver Nature and Science Museum. On that note, let's start the intro. All right, so we started the trip in a GMC Yukon, you kind of, I, I think, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, but we drove in a white GMC Yukon XL. Uh, really, really nice. Four hours to my butt. It felt nice. Anyways, this is when we got here. Um, if you've been to the Denver Nature and Science, you'd know that this is the main entrance where you go to get your tickets I believe no I think you get the lady tickets I don't know I don't really remember this moment but anyways um that black blob down there is blocking out my and also you are going to be seeing a lot of those black squares because there's some people I got caught in these videos you know it's a pretty busy place so anyways let's continue so we were obviously there to see the art of the brick this is a very blurry picture picture <laughs> very blurry picture of a sign and you can also see exclude right there and then here's another blurry picture of a wheel skeleton this is what it looks like when you're going up the escalators and then now we enter the exhibit with the first sculpture, which is the saber-toothed tiger. Or saber-toothed cat. Or in Spanish. <laughs> and here's the pinching finger. Or pinching hand. I, I, I can't get these right. And then there's me standing next to the sign with a mask on and a Minecraft shirt and a socks and this one is called the kiss a lot of legos yes i got it right here's uh ball and jacks here's a um uh, uh, uh yeah yeah they can't talk here's a guy called any world war <laughs> here's me standing next to a pencil writing fun by itself colors people more people cave painting called this don't know what that's called it's called this the mona lisa what i just said what is this that's what this is this is a self-portrait of a guy yeah a girl with a pro anger 3d ocean it's called the great wave of cursing starry night what I just said. My voice is raspy. It's not what it's called. Creepy. Scream. Don't know what that is. It's that. Hmm. Oh, it's what it's called. I'm also thinking about getting a new microphone. Yikes. It's obviously not called Yikes. Whatever that thing is. Oh, it's blurry. Uh, yeah. David! Here's a castle. Here's what it says. I'll catch you. He promised there will be no harm. And she wanted to go and live in his arms. But the boat seemed too safe and the jump seemed so big she could not just leave and abandon her rig don't know what that means finally the prince said as he jumped on her boat if you won't come to me then i'll sail on the moat and they sailed on her boat just watching the palace but they could not go back because it was now owned by Alice. The moral of the story, if you must know, if you stay where you are, then you may never go. So I cannot read that top part and prepare for the hazel. One day they will find they can live in the castle by that guy. 
That's a big pencil. This is what COVID did to the world. <laughs> what the heck? No, I'm not looking up. Hmm. There'll be wow, that's a big heart. Don't know what that is. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. Either. Creepy. <laughs> Even more hot. I lost my hands. Cloud Kingdom. I just decapitated myself. That guy's fat. That's me. I don't know what to say here. I'm just gonna take my brain apart. Dang it. Maybe I shouldn't have took my brain apart. Blue skeleton. Green skeleton. Red skeleton. Yellow skeleton. Big hand squishing a guy. Or is it a small guy being squished by a big hand? <sighs> White and black ideas. I just broke my arm. This is how you build a guy. Feet and whatever those things are called. The rest of the things and the things. The body part. Oh, and hey, look, the guy will do the last step for you. Black skull, gray skull, lighter gray skull, red skull, white skull. This is the biggest piece of the exhibit. Don't look at that part. Don't look at that part either. Hey, look, mom, I found a dinosaur skeleton. I made it out of Legos. Here's a video of the biggest piece, or biggest set, biggest, what, 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 Twisted. Here, let me just rip myself open. This is a tree in 2070. Here's a blurry picture of what I thought was a fish, but it's, it's actually a dress. Yeah, I, I thought it was a fish, but it's actually a dress. <laughs> Here's a video of the dress. These train tracks are in the picture. In the picture, train tracks are even made out of Legos as well. You want to wear flip-flops? Here's some painful ones. You want to dry yourself off with a towel? Here's a painful one. Cloudy day. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so that that's a bucket. I, I didn't realize that I was doing like a whole bunch of other things in this video as well. Polar bear, obviously. And an umbrella. And whatever that thing is. This is what happened to Africa. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, social distancing. Dragonfly. Alright, now we move out of the Legos a bit to this derpy thing. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's, that's expensive. Cha-ching. Even more expensive. Here's like the deepest, what do you call it? Geode? No, this, no, no. I don't know. My brain's fried today and I can't talk and I'm tired. So I just watched a video. Keeps going.
This is one of the most expensive rocks there. It is a topaz and you can read the rest of it. Here are fake glass molds of the real gems. Number 15 here, I don't know if you can see my mouse, but number 15 was the biggest diamond ever found. Yeah. But don't let your eyes deceive you because this is all glass. Glass. Yeah. Lame. And here we are in the ride back home. This is the inside of the GMC Yukon XL. So yeah guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry for the terrible sound quality. I mean, I hope it is sounding good. But uh, yeah, it was pretty quick. Um, you can pause and read all the dingy things. So yeah guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a safe and fantastic rest of your day. I'm sorry I haven't posted in such a dang long time. But anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I already said that.